How's it going? In this video, I want to recap how April didn't go and where what my goals are in terms of May. Now, it's going to be more interactive. There's going to be way more jumping around to other cutscenes, but it's going to be taken from my Instagram story in recapping all of these goals. So let's go ahead and let's talk about it. Thank you for returning. My name is Jake Diego and on this channel I talk about ways you can improve your Amazon business as well as some goals that I have going on so that you can hold me accountable. So such as this video where I basically need a good beating and also some personal development things. So let's start by talking about the car update. Now this all came full circle when I went out for a Nike trip here last month doesn't really hold that much more than my car I have now. In that particular car, I'll cut to a scene here, it's basically almost full already. With my Camry, I can hold about 125 pairs safely, and with the $5,000 limit and with all that, you only can have so many shoes anyways, and let's say I had somebody else with me and I could boost, work out the details here within the next month or so. In terms of Texas, it was a great trip. The flight went okay. It was a little hectic with the kids. It was awesome to see my dad's grave and some of my family there. Had an awesome cookout with the family and just be down there for a while. Uh, as part of being down there, I also got together with a good friend, Jason Ortiz. And I went and we scanned Nikes together. I showed them the process, how it works. And it was really nice to actually be able to share those details because every time you, every time I make a video, every time I share stuff, it just reinforces it in me. I see the fruits of that sharing and such later on down the road in other areas of life. So it's a wonderful thing. Jason was awesome in terms of providing me some cookies that his wife actually makes in their small business. They were freaking delicious. Jason, if you're watching this, thank you. They're very good. Also had the privilege of looking at some video art uh, projected up on this projected up on this cathedral it was beautiful and I'll I'll include some short clips of that the flight the flight went from happening on Sunday to being rescheduled until Tuesday wasn't terribly excited about that, especially with the two kids. But instead of going to the zoo with friends, as that was one of the goals this month, we went together with the family. Uh, there was huge snakes, there was tons of people, the San Antonio Zoo was fantastic, and we had a great time. Talking about my bike, bike chain all swapped out, it's shiny and everything, and I'll leave a little clip here. Got the bike back. Woo! Look at that sexy derailleur cassette thing with the chain. Damn. As far as the ClickFunnels project, we, I basically went into various Facebook groups and gathered knowledge on pain points and what they have going on and what's the most frequent thing. A bunch of data, data gathering stuff. We didn't create our own Facebook group yet, but that's definitely coming soon. We got to just narrow down exactly what we want for a demographic. And then we're going to work out some ebook stuff, some offer, free offer things, and actually create that. Going fishing did not happen, but I did move up a goal of getting into the YMCA to last month. So we were able to join the Y. It's been wonderful so far. They actually have a little childcare thing. In other words, we get there, we can drop our kids off in the childcare room. They can hang out and play in there while we actually have a workout and do that. The other bonus of this is actually going to happen tonight. So the little guy is going to be doing this all around do a different sport every couple weeks. And it's going to be a nice little survey for him to see what he likes and what he doesn't like. Grocery pickup, there's no updates there unfortunately. I do know though that I'm going to create a standalone account and actually get that VA in there. So I'm not gonna use our existing one. I'm actually gonna create a new one, just so I can put some limits on the card that'll be attached to that. 
just to ensure that everything is kosher. Moving around the money for profit first, that was a complete success. All the dollars have been moved, all the accounts are now full with the percentages and everything. I just gotta make sure to continue that procedure month on and month out. In terms of profit first, it's basically like a good dieting program in that if you use smaller plates, you're gonna take in less calories. So by not seeing this massive amount of money, it all being divided in these different accounts, it, it actually shows you a little closer to the dollars that you actually have available to you. So like we do with our personal finances, we're gonna keep us knowledgeable. Contacting wholesalers, I make those first contacts. It was a lot of back and forth. I'll have the video take you from that point. Started with the big accounts because I wanted to hear kind of how the phone conversation goes and I wanted to know the questions that they were gonna ask and look for. And I mean, almost across the board, from the ones I called, which were uh, Carter's, Gerber's, Mattel, Funko, Ship, Master, and Mega Blocks, it was like across the board. Um, you get a hold of somebody and they direct you to the website or they directed you to, you know, an email or some sort for filling out the application. All right, guys, so that is what happened in April. Now let's move into May. Now this is going to be more of a list. It's not going to have so many clips of things. First thing on the list as far as a carryover is the zoo with the friends. Yes, we went to the zoo in April in Texas, but just for the friends thing, it's been like over six months since we've gotten together. So it really makes sense to still do that and also see their kids. In addition to that is the fishing thing. That's still a carryover too. Looking forward to getting out there with the little guy on that one. And then the grocery list, I mentioned most of that in the previous months. And I mentioned most of that in the April part of this, but to actually get the credit limit, set lower on that card, tie it to a new account, and start going down that road. As far as new things for me, it, I want to go camping or at least hiking with the family one day this month. That would be kind of fun as long as it doesn't go like last time when we Ethan was like a little over two. It was just screaming all night until he came in Mama's sleeping bag. So hopefully it doesn't go like that again. And if anything else, maybe we just do the hiking bit. Other part of this is actually the car situation. Now, I recorded the April part of this video yesterday, and now I'm recording the May part today. And in that time, I realized that the main, one of the things that I really need in the next car is like some tinted back windows for bright orange boxes and just to keep, keep things in check. So I actually do still wanna get a RAV because that, because in a regular car, you can't tint the front windows, but you can see really easy towards the back. Whereas with the RAV, it's harder to see in the back if you tint those back windows. So I'm actually switching what I said and we're gonna start looking and pricing out that kind of thing. Hopefully I might even get one, but at least do the analysis, at least know exactly what I want or new or used or year or whatever, um, and at least tie that all up. I'd also like to play some video games with the little guy. Uh, back in prior to 2010, I used to play video games all the time growing up and then it just got to be less and less until I got into the whole GameStop buy two get one free thing that I mentioned in some other videos about how I actually started in Amazon. In any case, I just want to have some leisure time with the little guy, play the games. It's just been a while since we've done that together. Continuing on the wholesale route, I want to make at least 30 calls this month. Now, that's quite a bit of step up from the previous month of nine calls, but I think it's gonna be good to really get those wheels spinning. As far as the ClickFunnels project, still working on that, still getting that together. For this month, at least establish the Facebook group, start getting members in there and building up that audience. So this is my month of May, but I'm curious, how did April go for you? And what are you looking at in May? You can let me know in the comments down below. Thank you.